People have turned their attention away from the threat of COVID-19 into the grips of violence erupting all across the nation in response to the George Floyd controversy. But there were many peaceful rallies, such as the first one in Fort Bend County. Stafford residents gathered outside of City Hall on Monday, June 1st. Organizers made it clear in Facebook posts that the protest was not directed toward Stafford City officials nor the Stafford Police Department, but to an overall systemic problem. Tim Wood was one of the organizers. We can't sit at home and just be on Facebook. We need to make our voices heard, have people understand that it's not okay for people to be treated differently because of their race, especially not in 2020. Both Stafford Police Chief Richard Ramirez and the District Attorney Brian Middleton were contacted by organizers before the event. No, we treated it just like any other special event that uh, we, we participate in, like a lot like our 4th of July event, where we uh, do an operations plan and uh, strategically place officers uh, throughout the complex. So uh, we just want to make sure that everyone is uh, kept safe and uh, everyone can participate that wants to participate. I've issued a press release uh, trying to encourage people not to engage in looting or in property destruction because it's uh, counterproductive under the circumstances. And we're also encouraging people who are organizing protests to uh, be conscious of the people that are there. And if you see someone that doesn't quite fit in, to engage them and see what their intentions are. And if they're not consistent with your intentions, to, to notify the authorities and to notify that person uh, you're not welcome so long as you have that intention. Uh, because what we have is a lot of people coming from out of state, coming to our community with the purpose and intent of creating chaos. So we want to stop that. City Hall closed that Monday afternoon as a precaution. Stafford is a diverse community and we definitely support our, uh, our frontline police officers and we also support our community. It takes all of us together in every way that we can, embracing and supporting each other. And we can do this. We can do this. We're America. We love our country. This country belongs to all of us. Carolyn Entridge reporting for Stafford Weekly News.